Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and here's the question. Can I create a custom sort for my data in my Google Sheet? And the answer is yes. Let me give you some examples. First of all, here's my data. I, I got a hunk of data here. It's got 28 rows of data and I can sort this in lots of ways. Let me show you the different ways you can sort the data from a very basic perspective. First of all, I can go up here and click on this cell right here and I can say sort the by sort this whole sheet, which is the entire sheet by A to Z based on the date. And so I just sorted it based on the date. Now I can change that if I want to, and I can put it upside down. So I can put the, old, the largest date on the top and the smallest date on the bottom. I can sort by any one of these fields. I can sort by A to Z by the name, sort by A to Z or Z to A by the email address, et cetera, et cetera. Get the youngest at the top up here. Resort it by the youngest at the top. Now, and most of this data is unique, but city is not unique. It's got some duplicates in there. Sort that by A to Z. And I got the Andersons. I got the Chicago's, the Dallas, the Gaithersburg. I've got those in order based on city. And then the dogs. Let's see, do I have any dogs that are the same age? Let's do take a look at that and see if any dogs that are the same age. I don't think so. Yep, there's 221s. There's uh, 266s. And uh, so, yeah, I can sort by that as well. So those are the basic sorts, but I can be even more unique than that. I can sort based on the length of their name if I want to. Now, how do I do that? Here's how you do that. Go over here and create another cell. You know, give it a, give it a, a, a name. Let me just put that over here. And I can say, give me the length, length, L-E-N, of their name. Length of B2. Copy that and auto fill. So now I got that column and now what I can do is I can sort it by the length of their name. 11 to 17. I can sort if I want to by I can add up their age or divide their age by the number of the dogs they have. So I can put here, you know, average uh, age per dogs and I can say, okay, equals their age divided by their number of dogs. Auto fill that down, and then I can sort this, and now I have some weird numbers and some weird sorting based on their age divided by the number of their dogs. The bottom line is you can write any formula you want, and then you can sort this set of data based on the results of that formula. It's really pretty easy to do. Furthermore, if I want to, I can just come in here and just get a piece of this data. Let's say I only want to sort this section right here. I can sort this section right here by selecting the range, go to data, go to sort range, and I can sort just this range based on column A or however, or advanced range sorting. I can say, you know, sort it by column E, alphabetically, whatever, uh, um, and further on and on and on. Now, by the way, the moment you sort a, a, a range of a set of data, it screws up the whole data, so don't do that. Let me show you something else I can do. I can select the whole data set if I want, get that, and then I can go to sort data, sort the range, and advanced range sorting, and I can say, okay, data has a row, the data has a header row, I can say sort first by their city, add another column by their number of dogs, and or their age, let's change that to age, and then I can add another one and say the number of their dogs, and I can get the cities well, Z to A and age A to Z and that Z to A and sort that. Now I just sorted it all wild. Again, I sorted it by their, uh, their city, their age, and their number of dogs. So there's lots of ways to sort. Be careful if you make a mistake while you're sorting. Remember, before you go anywhere else, hit that control Z and put it back. We repeat, if you do a sort and it blows it up or breaks it or makes it stupid, 
Remember, after you do that sort to do a control immediately afterwards, do a control Z, it'll put it back in the order it was. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope these sorting ideas in Google Sheets are helpful for you.